we've talked a lot about what you had to do to create a book that looked very much like the book that was in the movie. And it sounds like you did most of that work yourself. Is that true? Uh, I initially I did use my cover designer, but then I ended up using, so I went in, used a scan of the original, went into Photoshop and I actually had, cause it was all wrinkly and cracked and everything. <laughs> so I had to clean up like, you know, like clean old photographs. So I went yeah. through all of those processes and then I had to change things. I had to purchase the font uh, so I could use the font and it's not the exact font that was on the original, but it's as close because again, I spent hours trying to find the right one. But yeah, I did all of that myself. I mean, normally I would use a cover designer, but this was a special project. Yeah, this isn't really cover design. It's cover reproduction or something yeah, like yeah. that. It's spoof. It's parody. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Well, I actually have a very specific mm. question that how did you find the font? Can you use like Google yeah. Lens or image or something um, like that? How did you figure app, out what it was? There's an app called Find My Font and there's another one like that. Oh, and what okay. happens is you take your phone, you scan it over a font. And I, I usually do several passes because you try different sections of letters. It opens it up and then based on certain letters, it takes you to it. And obviously they they have an affiliate relationship. So when you buy a font, they probably get a cut. And I think I purchased two or three different fonts through that. So I, again, I mean, it's not... You know, I spent money on these mm -hmm. things and like, oh, look, I found a font online and I used it. No, I mean, very much of the mind of if I'm going to use something as a professional, I better pay for it <laughs> to make sure that the people who created these things get the, get their due for it.